Repeat that. How many Americans? Well, there will be about 200 military air crews on those planes. But no combat crews. Well, how are they, uh, they going to gonna shoot the planes down, you mean? That's the danger? Well, we could, we could lose uh, some Americans if they shot the planes down. That's, That's right, sir. But these, th these will be given cover with uh, T-28s and B-26s that are already in the, con in the Congo. And uh, they would use these planes to uh, uh, go ahead of the draft and uh, also to help them deliver, uh, uh, deliver suppressive fire if anything uh, comes out of the ground. Do, do they have any anti-aircraft? Uh, we're not absolutely certain what is at Stanleyville at this point. They had some. Some of the anti-aircraft that they had at Stanleyville turned up in uh, Bukavu. So we know that some of it was moved away, but we don't know what is there or who's there to man it. But these, these planes should... These T-28s and B-26s uh, should be able to uh, find that out before the uh, paratroop-carrying planes actually arrive on the scene. The thousand men in the paratroop group. That's right, sir. Now, this is a highly trained uh, elite group. It's, the, it's actually the palace guard in Belgium. This is the best outfit they've got. The Belgians are very confident that uh, if they get get down and if they get there, that uh, they will not run into um, those problems. So they have a lot of experience in the Congo, and they feel certain that, uh, that if it is necessary to commit these troops, that uh, the troops themselves will take care of themselves. Where is Harriman? He's, um, he's sitting right here. Does he agree? Uh, he agrees. Yes, he, he agrees very much. All right, I'd go on then. All right, sir. Good night. We'll tell you tomorrow. Yeah, Bob, Bob McNamara agrees with this. Yes, he does, sir. Okay, go ahead.